So what am I worried about today? Well, I can't be trusted to be alone with my own brain sometimes, but that's just what we need to work on. We need to practice standing outside of our old habitual and compulsive negative thought generator and just learn to observe those thoughts passing by, like on a conveyor belt or something. Like, okay, there goes a catastrophic projection. That's me trying to be a fortune teller. And look, oh, there goes the thought about what someone might be thinking about me. That's me trying to be a mind reader. Oh, and look, there's a resentment about a past relationship. Bye-bye, off you go, down the conveyor belt. Anyways, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, and this moment is all we truly have. Oh, and look, there goes a worst-case scenario about that pain in my chest. That's me disqualifying the positive fact that my doctor said I was fine. We need to see our thoughts as what they are, and that's just thoughts. They're just our inner dialogue, our sometimes negatively coloured interpretation of the world that we perceive. And we have the power to colour our own internal reality by seeing which cognitive distortions we apply to the information that we receive from our senses. Have a look back at episode 3 to see my guide on how to debunk your negative thoughts. That's it for today. So until next time, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Brain.